Whether or not you want to admit it, source filmmaker is a dead end. Even Sino Zero himself said so. And knowing that you're stuck on a program with code from 2007 sucks, because for those of us who still want to make TF2 content, we're always left wondering if there's a better way to do so. Well, there is. And it's in Blunder. How's that feel, oh. wimp? The TF2 Trifecta is your all-in-one solution for anything Team Fortress 2 in Blender. To summarize, it's composed of four tools. Wardrobe, Merc Deployer, Bone Merge, and the Face Poser. Wardrobe gives you easy access to any cosmetic and weapon in the game. Merc Deployer lets you spawn the nine mercenaries in their highest quality. Bone Merge combines them all, and the Face Poser does what it says. Here's how to use it. All of the tools reside in the side panel in the 3D viewport. Starting with wardrobe, searching is pretty straightforward. The only thing you need to know is that you can search for multiple words by separating them with a pipe symbol. If you have a mercenary selected when spawning an item, it will get binded to the mercenary automatically. When you have a cosmetic selected, the paint window will appear where you can then paint your clothing item. Whichever material slot is active in the material window is the material that will be painted. If a cosmetic doesn't look right or isn't getting painted right, you can attempt a fix by selecting one of the material slots and hitting Fix Material. If you plan to render with Eevee, press Use Light Warps to match the shading of the mercenaries more closely. Merc Deployer lets you spawn two kinds of rigs for each mercenary. A Rigify rig, which supports IKFK swapping, and a pure FK rig which supports game animations. To switch between IK and FK on the Rigify rig, enter Pose Mode, select a bone from any limb, go to the Item tab and slide between IK and FK. A bunch of other bones have different options when selected, so don't be afraid to experiment a little. Just a little tip, you can easily curl the fingers by scaling and rotating the orange sticks. Bone Merge will bind multiple items to a target. To use it, target an armature, select all the items you want to attach, and hit Attach. If a bound item doesn't look right, try selecting it and press Attempt to Fix Cosmetic. The Face Poser is my implementation of face posing like you'd see in Gmod or SFM. The first section is where you'll do most of the posing, and it supports weighted stereo flexing. So if you want to pose one side of the face more than the other, just slide the LR slider to do so. The Pose Library allows you to save a specific configuration of the face for later use, which is really useful for lip syncing. Sadly, the Pose Library isn't universal, so you'll have to create different poses for each class. The Face Randomizer randomizes the face, and the window below locks sliders so that they don't get randomized. Now that you know how it all works, it's time to set it all up. You'll want to download the TF2 V3 and the TF2 Collection asset files. When downloading the TF2 Collection, I recommend that you get each folder one at a time so that the zip file doesn't get split like it does when you download it all at once. Once you have the two archives downloaded, extract them in a way so that the files look like this. Next, download the TF2 Trifecta from the GitHub, go to Blender, Preferences, Add-ons, and Install. Find the zip file and install it. The add-on should now be visible, and now it's time to enter the file paths. The easiest way to do this is by adding one of the cosmetic files and pressing the magnifying glass. After that, all of them should be added as an entry. Now the last feature that I'd like to mention is the updater panel, where you can update any part of the add-on or assets whenever. Now that the important bits are out of the way, let's talk about troubleshooting. If something is wrong with the mercs, whether it be miscoloration or not being able to pose, make sure you're on the latest version of Blender. If nothing is able to spawn, go back and see if your paths are correct. Check if they match the recommended file structure that I showed earlier, and see if you're following the tips that I provided in the add-on preferences. If you can't find a cosmetic, just know that it's in there somewhere, just probably under a different name. Try thinking of what the cosmetic has, or what it's for, and search based on that. If you have any questions, I recommend joining my Discord server, or the TF2 Blunder communities. But the comment section works as well. Thank you to my Patreon supporters, MangoWow, Mr. Dr. Fish, and Dare King. Thanks for watching, I hope you all enjoyed.